Good morning children. Have a nice day. Welcome to lesson 9 our homes part 2. Key points in the lesson. Number 1 houseboats. Number 2 caravans. Number 3 Building materials, number four, log cabins, number five, seashore houses. So we are going to see all these in this lesson. In Kashmir and Kerala, many people live in houseboats which can be moved from one place to another on the lakes. So these are the lakes children. And you can see houseboats moving on the lakes. So these lakes you will find in Kashmir and Kerala and the houseboats also. Nomads do not live permanently at one place. They keep moving around. They don't stay in one place. When it is very cold in their region they move to warmer places where it is warm these are the nomads can you see children these nomads nomads live in caravans which can be moved around by a horse bullock or a van these are the caravans children you can see such type of caravans the nomads keep moving around from one place to another in search of food and other things for themselves and for their cattle. Do you know many people go on holidays in caravans which can be parked anywhere these caravans they have all the facilities inside for their food their beddings their clothes and whenever they feel like cooking they park their caravans in a place cook their food and again continue their journey after a while in areas of hot climate like Rajasthan, the houses are built with high flat roofs to keep the house cool. These are high flat roofs from ground till top. You will find it is very high the building and the roofs are flat in order to keep the house cool and the sun light which falls on the roof of the house does not reach easily to the ground and they feel better in the hot climate. This is the flat roof. The rooms are made around an open veranda to allow free movement of air and to keep the heat out. This is a veranda. Can you see children? This portion is the veranda and these are the different rooms. The rooms are made all around the veranda for the heat to stay out of the rooms. Materials used for building houses. Most people build houses with materials that are available locally. People use bamboo, grass, clay for making huts in villages. Material used for building houses 
some people also use asbestos sheets tin roofs as they cannot buy costly materials so these are little cheaper materials they are not very costly that's why they use such materials to build their houses asbestos roof can you see this is known as asbestos roof aluminum roof also people build their houses with they put the aluminum sheets and the roof is made in cities most people use materials like glass steel cement wood can you see this glass they make window panes and even uh, some show part also they use the glass and steel they make the staircase the gates then cement they have to use to make the permanent house wood in different parts of the building they use the wood like doors windows inside cupboards then some more materials stones marble bricks tiles these they use inside the ground where they make the foundation and the marble they uh, use it for placing on any platform sort of thing bricks also are uh, used to make the walls and tiles they put on the floors in order to look beautiful people use these materials to build strong houses these are permanent houses and very strong houses in forests wood is easily available so people make wooden houses known as log cabins in cold climate people use a lot of wood it keeps the house warm in chilly weather wood you see different types of wood over here and they use this wood to make log cabins in order to keep the house warm in chilly weather means very cold weather houses on sea shores are made of strong waterproof materials to protect them from the strong salty winds you see where people are living near the sea the wind which blows brings salty winds the winds are coming from the sea and the sea is salty that's why the wind becomes salty and to protect the house the walls and all are made of waterproof materials the water does not enter through the walls normally these houses have big glass windows very big glass windows to allow the cool breeze to enter and to keep the storms out when they need the cool breeze to enter they open the windows and when they don't want the storm the strong winds to enter they shut the windows so very big glass windows they have here do you know wooden houses are very common in areas that are prone to earthquakes such houses can be rebuilt easily i am sure you are knowing what is earthquake in hindi you call it bhukamp when the earth shakes when the earth shakes then houses buildings bridges dams all break down and too much of loss to life and property takes place so in order not to have too much of loss people build their houses with wood 
so that even if earthquake occurs and the house breaks again it can be rebuilt easily and it will not be very costly and if they have cemented houses pakka houses then what would happen the house would break fall down people who are inside the house they will lose their lives and all the property what they have gets damaged very easily so that's why pe people build their houses in earthquake prone areas with wood the type of house a person builds also depends on the money that can be spent we spend money to build a house those who have lots of money they use very good materials expensive materials those who can't afford money they do what they use cheaper materials and build houses with cheap things a rich person uses costly materials to build a big house big mansion bungalow such type of houses rich people will build so whatever money we want to spend we can spend whatever money that much material we buy and we put in our houses which we are building so that's why mainly the house depends on the money also that we are able to spend so children this is the end of the lesson i'm sure you have understood everything and you are going to understand do your work and be sincere in your studies you are going to write nicely you are going to do all your exams properly i'm sure you are going to be good so wishing you a lovely day stay home stay well stay safe look after yourselves look after your parents look after everyone and stay away from any type of danger which you feel that is there out do not mix around with people so much these days it's very difficult for you if you are sick go to the doctor but you can stay away from such type of health issues if you are staying in the house that's why it is said stay home stay well stay safe so i'm sure you are going to listen to me listen to other teachers and your parents thank you bye for now have a nice day and always keep smiling be cheerful be good